Hey everybody, it's BC here. Welcome to another episode of Evil Space. And I have been quite busy lately. I've been working throughout the night, gathering up a whole bunch of supplies. Uh, actually, I lied. I just cheated and I said it to morning just before I started recording like I usually do. Uh, I have been, as you can see, really busy. I got a whole bunch of basalt and a whole bunch of iron. And that's because we're going to venture down the rabbit hole that is stainless steel. Uh, there, this is going to start getting a little confusing. I actually had trouble trying to figure out how I'm going to like get everything situated in the factory. Uh, there is going to be a couple of different processes we're going to have to do to get into that, but uh, I'm just going to finish up this last chunk here uh, to give you an idea, idea how busy I've been. Uh, this is actually my second multi-tool. Uh, the multi-tool you saw in the last episode was the one that wore out. So that was at about 0.7. This is a new one. This is down to about 0.7. So it gives you an idea of how much I've mined. And, uh, yes, I left a really big hole in the backyard here. Just crazy. But, anyways, uh, let us go. I did a little bit more work, too. Uh, this is actually something we're going to deal with right now, because uh, I had one of those moments where, oh, jeez, I forgot about the creosote. And I had to run out here, check the tanks, and make sure they're okay, because I don't want these filling up. Like, this was 62 not too long ago. We might have to start utilizing that. But, in the meantime... I want to get a couple more tanks here, just so I don't forget about it. And then uh, I'm thinking about getting a couple of tanks for the ore water, just in case, right? Uh, but so far, everything's going pretty good. But let us uh, talk about the the stainless situation here. Uh, as you can see, yes, I've gotten a whole bunch of iron because we are going to need it. All right, so let's, let us venture into stainless steel. So this is a stainless steel ingot. This is what we're trying to achieve. And we run stainless steel dust through an arc furnace to get stainless steel. Now this is for a stainless steel recipe, so if we're using aluminum, it's gonna probably be about 40 seconds. Uh, it'd be nice if he'd, he did actually show the different tier recipes for it, but I can understand when you get into some machines that have, let's say, eight or 10 different outputs for one item. You don't want the times for every tier listed because there's six tiers right there, right? But anyways, so stainless steel dust is made in a mixer which uses nickel dust, chrome dust, and iron dust. And you run in there for 20 seconds and it's aluminum tier and you get stainless steel dust. Uh, this is where things start to get complicated. We'll go with the easy route first. We'll go to the nickel dust. The nickel dust can be achieved in two different ways, either through the macerator or through an industrial separator. Now we can run copper impure ore dust through it and it'll get us nickel, but we also get zinc, cobalt, a little bit of iron dust and the copper dust. Now we're going to need iron anyways, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to be switching the macerator over on the iron, or not, sorry, the regular, here, let's uh, get this recipe up. Uh, the regular separator gets us 0.9 iron and a tiny bit of sulfur for one ore dust. If I run this through the industrial separator, which is down here, we get a little bit more sulfur, we get a full iron and then we get a little bit of nickel, and that's what we, we're trying to achieve. So we're going to go into a separator on that. Or right, we're going to be uh, switching this over to a separator, or industrial separator, which means I'm going to have to get another arm in here. And then we're going to have to find a way to get the nickel, nickel going up and the sulfur stain somewhere down here. I'll probably move the pipe and just put another arm here with another chest there, which is actually going to be an issue because this thing is bigger. I just realized that. Let's actually go ahead and start making this. Uh, let's make it out of aluminum. I think we can only make it out of aluminum. So let's run upstairs. Uh, I think we're actually going to need two of them. Yeah, let's actually finish the rabbit hole here. Uh, scary it before if you want to continue on. Anyway, so back to stainless steel dust. And then, so that's the, that's the nickel. That's going to get us our nickel. Uh, sorry, our nickel and our iron. So that's one step. That's the easy part. That's just a matter of switching one machine over. So chrome dust. Now the chrome dust is actually a byproduct of a al aluminothermic chrome dust, which is a solid fuel in a solid furnace, which is fine, gets us more heat. Uh, you can use it around another boiler or two, but uh, getting to stainless, we're going to be able to make solar panels pretty soon. So that's going to be good. And I have a might have to make more glass, but yeah, they're a little pricey, but we'll see the power output on them. Uh, yeah, so that gets us uh, two byproducts. The aluminum oxide dust is actually, believe it or not, free aluminum. Aluminum oxide, you know, I can run this back into the arc furnace up here. 
to get more aluminum. And that's, that's a good payoff there. But to make this, we need another mixer. Well, we will need a mixer. We'll need uh, aluminum dust, which I can grind components or plates in a macerator. doesn't matter. And then we need chrome oxide dust. Now, chrome oxide dust we can get from running iron impure dust through an electrolyzer, which will get us magnesium oxide dust, and chrome oxide dust, and a little bit of iron. Or, since we're already getting enough iron as it is, we're going to be getting more out of that macerator. Uh, we get, I start running basalt through it. Basalt dust is just basalt through a macerator, and that gets us sand, gets us aluminum oxide dust, which again is more aluminum. Uh, tungsten, or uh, titanium dust, which we're actually going to need for the next tier anyways. Magnesium, I don't know, and that gets us our chrome oxide dust. And then basically we mix those together in a mixer. We get our solid fuel, we run that through a furnace, and that gets us our chrome dust. And again, like I said, that goes back into the aluminum line. So. It's going to be an interesting setup. Now, uh, what I came up here for is to get us some supplies. And I'm probably going to use components because these are building up pretty quick here. I'm going to grab a whole bunch of these. And I don't like the fact that you can't do single stacks. Doing a shift click takes the entire thing and you don't want to do that. Oh, this is actually backed up. Good. We might have to start grinding both of them up. Okay. So let us start here. We're going to need two industrial separators. One, two. Uh, what else are we gonna need? Well, let's uh, let's go deal with the steel uh, iron section down first. Uh, oh yeah, by the way, I put my lights up here if you haven't noticed. Now this is a bigger one. This is, uh, I believe, a three by six or a three by two. Sorry. I'm starting to get noisy down here. Good. That's the sound of progress, and also the sound of uh, me actually having adequate power supply. So as you can see it's a two by three so I think about all I could really do what I'll have to do is I'll take, I'll take that conveyor out and uh, the extra arm so let's let's do that this pipe is gonna have to be rerouted what is this this is steam oh no it's compressed air I do have some pipes on me, so I'm going to uh, let me move a few things around, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I got the pipe under the floor here. Uh, well, not under the floor, because we got other pipes in the way, but that's fine. Uh, Dev, if you watch this, if we can get some sort of, like, facade or something for the pipes, like a block we can put over top, or even, like I suggested, the the blocks that allow pipes to go through, would be, be great. So this is this big. Now, where are my inputs here? Uh, let's get this somewhere here. So inputs and outputs are on the end, and then I have the the motor on that end. So ideally, I want to put it here, right? Let me see here. Uh, yeah, like that, and I'll put the motor over there. All right. So we gotta take the robot out. Now, good thing is I don't actually have to take that chest out because that's got a lot of sulfur in it right now. Take all these out. Uh, I can get a free food for us if I need it. But, yeah, we are going to do... Let's see here. Uh, i got to go back down here. Nope, it's going to have to go there. Just because the input's there. And then... Let's see here. How shall we do this? Well, that motor's going to come out. I'm going to need filtering robots, I do believe. Uh, did I have one? No. Let me get a couple of filtering robots and I'll be right back. Okay. I have the arms ready to go. So what I want to do is... This is the problem. It's like I'm not going to be able to access this unless... Uh, yeah, I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to do this now. Because what I need to do... Well, I guess I could empty the chest and just move it. And I think I might have to do that. Uh, I need to make it a motor because I uh, used it for the macerator. Uh, I need copper. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Grab some of this. Make. Where is it? I'm sorry, I missed. There it is. Okay. Yeah. I don't know if there's actually a way to mass produce those things. Uh, let's see here. Just by hand. That's it, unless I use a dis disassembler, but that's 
not the point. You guys still can make them. All right. So what I want to do is I want to get two arms on this side because we're going to be running. What? Well, we're running iron through this, so I only need one. So maybe. Uh, let's see here. Actually, what we should do is actually get some iron being processed first, so we can actually filter it out. So we'll place the motor. Here, uh, well, power is right here, perfect. Uh, I should have some cable. No, I do not. Where is it? There it is. Yeah, so then this will get, uh, get the iron and I'll get the chrome and then the, or sorry, the nickel. And the nickel I gotta get upstairs. And I'm gonna try to see if I can get conveyors going underneath the ceiling. Just for, just for fun. Wow, takes a long time. I could have used components. Oh, jeez, I should have done that. Oh, well. Uh, as soon as I get that rack empty, the better. So I can empty it. All right, so this is ready to go. I just got to get some power to it. Be just a second. And I always got to check my inventory because you never know. I might actually have it here and not even realize it. Okay, so cables, please. Oh, I don't know what happened there. I don't actually think I've misclicked. So this is going to be running. It's going to give us sulfur, nickel, and the iron. Now the iron is going to go out this end, of course. I probably could have had it moved over here, but something was in the way. Is that actually... I don't know why I couldn't place it there. This is fine. Alright, so now i got to go grab one of everything. I'm going to place one of you that way. Uh, you are going to be doing... Yeah, you're going to be doing iron dust. Oh, I like that. The Aluna version has three, three different tiers, or three different outputs. All right, so nickel dust has got to go up. So I'm thinking... If I can get the rotation right. Actually, we can leave it there. Then I'll use the screwdriver. Always have it on me. There we go. Oh, that's the wrong way. I think it is. No, that should be the right way. Alright, you are going to be doing nickel as soon as I can find it here. There we go. You are going to do nickel. I said you are going to be doing nickel. And then we get one here for the sulfur. Uh, let's do you like so. Do I have this the wrong way? I'm sorry, give me a second. Okay, I think I got that. Alright, so now I'm just going to go ahead and place a, make an aluminum chest and I'll use that for the, the sulfur here. Okay, so you are going to be doing this sulfur. Actually, I should probably... See if I can take that out. No, I can't. I think I should be doing it at a one point interval. See if I put that in there and I just do with that. Or even a one, that'll be fine too. Okay, now I gotta make sure I had to put arrow points the right, right way. That was actually pointed the wrong way, so good thing I figured that out. Oh, that's not what I want to do. Let's get rid of that and grab you. We'll place you there. Oh, yeah. And now you're taking oh, sulfur out. Good. Okay, you are taking your aluminum, and you need a place to put your nickel. So let us try something here, if I can get up top. Up we go. Uh, hmm. I need conveyors. Alright, uh, give me a second. Okay, I'm back. I'm actually making another chest too. I'm thinking I'm going to put the, the chest in as well. So let me uh, do a little bit of cheatiness here. We'll place a cable there. We'll place a chest there. Now I think... Have I got one block or two? I got one. Okay. Hmm. Let's put the conveyor there first. Okay, let's see if I can uh, do this right. 
Okay, uh, shift works. Okay, we'll do that. <laughs> and I love doing stuff like this. Like that, and uh, I believe we're going to go that direction. Now I just got to place another robot here. Uh, I'll make a couple of aluminum ones. Why not? Okay, what are you doing? Oh, uh, yeah, you need uh, nickel. It does work. I love it. Okay, uh, it's getting dark. Let's uh, get some light in here so we can see what we're doing. All right, so that is that way. Uh, unfortunately, the models are upside down, but that's fine. That is getting me sulfur. This is running. And then I also have to get iron up there as well. But we'll figure that out later. Uh, let's get the other separator going for uh, the salt. Now, I need a mass rater. Take one of those. I'm going to need to make a motor. Uh, copper's over here. Let's go ahead and grab a few of these. Do, 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 do. I'll make a couple of motors actually. We got power nozzles. I need aluminum. Oh my god, this is why I want to get a unified storage area. I think maybe that's what I'll do next video. After we get the stainless steel going, I'll set up like a main storehouse where I have everything piped in. So when I go on and I go craft stuff, I just know where everything is. And needless to say, it's a bit of a pain trying to find out where all my stuff is half the time. Alright, so that's going to be coming up roughly around here. Uh, I don't actually need a washer for this, but the thing with the the, sep the separator running the basalt through it is we're getting five different items out of it. So that's why we're going to start with the separator over at this end, but I need shelves. Let's, uh, let's go get some wood. But let me get a shelf and I'll be right back. Okay. Uh, and now I'm actually thinking about it. I don't really need a shelf because uh, the basalt's in a stack of a thousand, but it'd be nice to have like some sort of backlog. Now, I, how much room I actually need uh, since we have everything coming up on this side? Eh, maybe we'll just go right here just because. Uh, make sure I have a couple of blocks. How's that? That works. I can hear those air compressors. Uh, that's funny. All right. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I will need a robot to take this out. So we'll do that. Then we uh, we start with a macerator. Because a macerator is going to be... Let's see, where is the power coming in? In, out. Just one that will do that. And I'm going to go ahead and stick a stack of that in there. We'll stick the rest in here. Uh, I wonder if this is actually going to show 2,000. Like if it's going to show it as full of 2,000. But anyway, so we got the uh, basalt going in there, running through the macerator, it gets us basalt dust. We run the basalt dust through industrial separator to get our chrome oxide dust. And aluminum oxide, then we pump back over there, sand. And we'll stockpile in chest. We don't really need too much. Like realistically, I have this right enough of two robot arms, but why do it that way? Let's have some fun with it, right? Anyway, all right, so that is coming out of here. Uh, I'm just going to pipe it right in. I'm not going to worry about the arm on this one. Alright, so that's going to come in here. And then what I've been thinking about doing is I'm just going to have everything come in right out on conveyors, but having an arm next to each one. Uh, do, do six like so. Uh, let's have them on this side. Sure. And this is actually why I made a bunch of shelves. So there's going to be, I guess we'll have them right next to each other, may as well. One, two, let's do it this way. And five, and I'm going to turn them around just because I want to. Oh, we can't turn these things around. Alright, uh, let me place them the other way. There, now I zoom. We can see in there better business so that plate's not in the way. Alright, now for... Not the filtering robots yet. Let's actually get some power going to this. Where's my juice? My juice is over there. Oh, <laughs> look at it like this. Look at this. Like, where's the power coming from? And I just totally forgot I had it going on underneath. Uh, I'm going to need some more wire here. So let me get some more wire and I'll be right back. 
Okay, there's Ash Craft. It's almost done. But what I actually realize I gotta do is I gotta take this off. Now, fortunately, the amount of time it's gonna take to process everything should give enough time for everything to be voided out, I'm hoping, anyways. Uh, if not, I'll have to probably get a stacker in there or something. But we'll see, or we might even have to go with multiple conveyors, multiple robotic arms. Which, don't get me wrong, I'm, I'm all for, right? Uh, it's just space is the big concern that is going through. So yeah, let's get the motor down here first. Uh, I gotta take that conveyor off so everything stays inside the machine so I can actually grab everything. So that is... Oh, I need two motors. That is fine. I do have that. I do have some wire here I can start placing if I get to the right hotkey. Like so. And then now uh, we'll just... We'll actually run this over the ceiling. Like, uh... Like so. And there's the wire. That's not the wire. Uh, there it is. Alright, let me finish this up. Okay, all done. That didn't actually take very long. So this should be running. Uh, this should be running. And I get us four. So then we get these four coming out. So these are going to stay in the output while I set everything. Uh, what I'll probably do, uh, I'll let it go through. I'll let it go through. So yeah, now I can go place robots down because I don't have the conveyors connected yet. Helps if I turn the right way. Good thing for the screwdriver. Oop, that was awfully loud, uh, especially f for for me. Yeah, sorry. Okay, so that is doing its thing. Let's grab all this out while I can. And now let's start with you. You are going to be... Well, let's start with the tungsten. Actually, that's got to go back over here. Uh, where does that go in? Goes in right into here. So then maybe what I'll do... So that's going to be... It's going to be the tungsten. Uh, next we have magnesium. Actually, what I should need to do. Oh no! Um, I need to do is stop messing with the mouse wheel. So uh, let me get this done off camera. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. Uh, I went ahead and made a stacker so it outputs in whole items, and then I got this one here set to titanium, this one to magnesium, this one to sand. Uh, I'm gonna put another arm here, which I'm gonna do like so, which will be pulling the, the aluminum off, and it's gonna go back out to the arc furnace or the smelter, and then from here, on the last one, it's gonna be going. Uh, I guess I don't need to filter one for this because it's just going to be the chrome dust. Yes, I had to think about what I was doing there. Uh, oh yeah, I made them right there. So we'll do that and like so. So now the fun. Bit, this is where it starts getting interesting. So I gotta do. I do have everything connect set up. So. Hopefully these work. I may have to uh, downgrade the conveyors. So let's see if the sand gets picked up. Yeah, I gotta downgrade the conveyors. Or two arms, maybe. Uh, let me try oh, copper conveyors and see how it works. Okay, so I got copper down. Let's see what happens. Now hopefully, hoping with the aluminum arms. Should be fast enough. Uh, let me dump all this in and see what happens. It may or may not be fast enough. Uh, yeah, we're going to go two arms. Let me change this over. Okay, I think I got it all figured out here. So, yeah, I'm going to go two. Uh, i got them all set up right now, so all i got to do is just put the, the shelves in. 
like this. So I'm sure there's other ways of doing this. This is how I'm doing it. I got the same too for the aluminum. Uh, I think the aluminum might be pumped out a little bit more. I don't know, but uh, yeah, then it's just a matter of oh yeah, I was making one more filtering robot just to make sure that I actually use the right thing. That's actually pulling out the, the chrome because that's what's coming out of here. All right, so this is the chrome oxide dust, and already I'm confused and lost in where I was going. Uh, I've got those already set too, so yeah, we just need the chrome oxide dust and aluminum dust, and this is going to make the fuel. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right, yeah, I had to make sure I was going the right way here, so I do have to put another robot arm here, because we can't actually manually put stuff in, or type it in with conveyors. Yes. Alright, so that's going here. And then that's going to be going into a mixer. Uh, let's see here. Yes, it's going into a mixer. So let's go ahead and make an aluminum mixer. We're actually going to make two of them because I'm going to need them. So we need more supplies. Okay, we'll do this. And I'm probably going to probably gonna grind up the aluminum parts just because we get twice as many of them, so let's go ahead and make one of those, and another one of those, and yeah, I'm just basically trying to f play it by ear of how I'm going to place everything, just build it as I go, I guess, alright, now the mixer is another, well, we've seen the mixer, it's actually a two block thing, uh, needs water too, uh, needs mechanical power, I guess inputs doesn't really matter. We can. Oh, does this actually? Oh, actually, does this need water? I can't remember. Uh, oh, okay. We don't have to worry about that then. Uh, I do have to make another motor though. Two more motors, in fact. Uh, let me get that set up, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. And it occurred to me that I was uh, talking about something before I fell down this rabbit hole that is stainless steel. I was actually gonna upgrade these tanks. Oh, good thing I came out here. Ooh. Alright, uh. Let's get another one of these for now. In fact. Start avoiding it. Just because. I'll come and deal with that in a couple of episodes. I'm sure I'll remember by then. But, anyways, I made a couple more motors. I made a whole bunch of wire. And we're gonna go back up here. And then we're gonna get all this set up in place. So, this is gonna be taking our chrome dust. So we're going to gonna place a motor over here and then get some wires hooked up. And then from here, uh, oh yeah, from here we got to get another macerator going because we got to start pulling those out because I do believe that's what we're doing here. Aluminum oxide dust and aluminum dust, which have, like I said, is just ground up aluminum. So we're going to take another robot, we're going to place you like so, and I just remember there's going to be another byproduct from the fuel that has to go back into here. So I am actually going to take this out and put another chest in here, and I think I, I thought I made more of them. I guess I did, and I'll need more plates for that. Uh, I might need some, I got the conveyor, so that's actually good. So let us see here, we need another robot there, I need a macerator, and I don't need more stuff, let me get a few more supplies together, okay, I got set up, but, or made, but I just thought of something, I might actually have to move this, uh, just because of the fact that I, the way I'm placing everything, uh, oh wait, uh, yeah, we'll mixer, that's what we're doing here, uh, I don't actually need water for this, so it doesn't really matter where I place this thing, so I'm just do like that, um, Am I doing this right? Hang on. I'm confusing myself. Uh, we'll just take it one step at a time. And I put that in the wrong spot. Okay. So, yeah. So we'll take it... Uh, let's take it one step at a time. So first, we'll take a robot. Make sure that's going the right way. We'll take uh, uh, the macerator. And let's see here. Put the motor on this side. Uh, because I'm using the arms, it doesn't really matter which way I have the input and output because the robots override that. And then I'm going to place another robot here. And 
conveyors. Now, the, one, the, thing, the thing I was having trouble with is uh, one of the byproducts from the, the solid fuel, fuel furnace is going to be the aluminum or the aluminum oxide dust. And so I, I was trying to find a way of how I got to get that back over to that conveyor over there, but maybe we'll uh, maybe we'll use junctions or do some crazy conveyor stuff. I have no idea. Okay, so you are doing that. You are facing the wrong way, apparently. So we'll do uh, that. There we go. Now it's working. And it helps if I turn this the right way, too. And this one. Yay, I know what I'm doing. Alright, so that's going to get power. That's going to go into here. And then, uh... Now I just got to put the stacker back into place. Oh, what I got to do, um... Let's not do that yet. Not that it has any power. Because uh, I got to make sure that this is going to be all set up for when this goes through. So let me get the... Other things. I was going to... Oh yeah, I was going to put a chest here. I never did actually make that chest. Let's do that now. I'll take this conveyor out and then I'll put another conveyor on this side because it's going to be going this way anyways I don't know how it's going to get here but it will get here one way or another oh god damn it alright there we go alright so that's going to be feeding back in there and the reason why I put the chest in there is just so there's a buffer because if this thing is full and I'm still processing ore then this is this is going to back up and then the stainless steel doesn't go through alright so macerator is filled up uh, this is ready to go. I gotta put the stacker in, so let me get the wires hooked up and the stacker back in place and we'll check it out. Okay, all the wires are in place. That is running. That is good. So now we just gotta get the stacker back in place. And all should be good. I wanna make sure this is actually set. Okay, it is. Uh, those are set. Good. And that is good. Alright, let's see what happens. Okay, that's sand. That's going to go through first. Uh, no, 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 no. Ah, God. Alright. Fortunately, I got everything with me. Okay. I actually have to set the shelves in, apparently. Alright, not a problem. Okay, there and there. This is... What was that? That was magnesium. Okay. And this would be titanium. Yes. Alright, let's try this again. Not really sure everything goes through right. This will take some time to build up, but uh, that should work, so that means I should have nothing in here because it hasn't made it in there yet but I know I can put it in there myself but let's just do it that way just because we can now we just go ahead and turn you back like so and okay I want to make sure I lock that too so in that way it doesn't fill up extra slots so that is getting our fuel Okay, which means I need more robots, of course. Uh, let's make it five there. So now this has to go into a solid fuel furnace, which is going to be... There, a solid furnace. And what do I need? Is that concrete? Reinforced concrete. I think I have some of that somewhere. Of course, I have to go all the way down here to get it. I just need one of those, which gets me... One of those. Alright. Now, of course, I will hook it up to the grid just to get that extra power. Oh, that's cool. You can actually rotate the stairs. Cool. Alright, so. I'm gonna grab an arm. I'm gonna go that way. And you're gonna feed right into a furnace. And that's gonna be generating as 10 heat for every fuel. And then all we have to do is just hook it back up into this, hook this up into the system, like a so, Oop. like that. Now I gotta get the output out of here. So I'm gonna need again two more filtering robots, which I could probably do right now. One, two, 
And then I gotta take out the aluminum oxide dust and the chrome dust. The aluminum oxide dust has to go back over the arc furnace. And the chrome dust. Oh, this is heat. Hmm. I didn't even think about that. I guess we're gonna add another boiler to the system. I think that might be a good idea. Boiler, uh, water collector. So I don't actually need to put. Yeah, I thought it was something else. I could always use more steam. Uh, that's not a problem. Let me get this hooked up and I'll be right back. You know what I'm gonna do? Uh, because everything. Well, because I got all these down here and the pipes are all over the place. I'm gonna grab the extra. Let me get the daylight back. Grab the extra t generator and turbine that I have, which are, uh, are right here. And I'm going to place them up, up there somewhere, just hook them up to the grid. And that way I don't have to worry about trying to feed pipes down. Let me see, they're there. You know what, maybe I can get into it. Let's see if I can find a, a spot to put a hole in my ceiling. Is this a steam problem? That's what I'm wondering now. Well, we could actually use the extra generator. Maybe I'll do that right now. Well, let us do that, so we're going to be getting some extra steam going anyways. Uh, oh, yeah, the sign. That's why you're not going. Get that out of the way. And like so, and do a couple more wires. I have to clean my floor. Yeah, I'm uh I'm a lazy bum, what can I say? Okay. And, like so, got copper pipes somewhere. Oh, that's not a copper pipe. That's copper wire. And, like so. Okay. So now I gotta go up. Actually, we gotta find a place to put that hole now. So the steam line is here. Uh, this isn't even connected to anything. I'm hoping this is all straight steam. So let's actually put a hole in the top so I can <laughs> line it up a little bit better. Uh, let's see. Now, ideally, the best place is right there. And there's a aluminum pipe there. Hmm. But I'm actually quite close to where I want to be. So maybe. Yeah, this is the steam line here, I think. Should be. Okay. Up we go, ow. Okay, up we go. Alright, now let's see if we can actually place the pipes down. Like a pro. All right, and then we go over here, and like so. And there we go. So now that the heat's getting used, we're actually getting our, our fuel byproduct. Great. So now the fun part, trying to get the conveyors over there. And what I might do is I might go junctions on this, just to make it a little bit easier. Um, I'll make five junctions for now. Uh, in the meantime, we're going to go ahead and rotate this because now this chrome dust that's coming out of here has to line up with the nickel dust that started at the bottom and that will get us our stainless. So, yeah, i got to uh, let's actually grab one of those. Now, I'm going to purposely place the filter and robot the wrong way so it doesn't pull out the wrong thing. Okay, I gotta remember I gotta turn it this way. Okay, chrome dust is going out, and then I'll do the same on this one. And you are gonna be t taking out the aluminum, or aluminum oxide dust. Okay, perfect. So now, it's just a matter of turning you that way, and I'll turn you this way, and then yeah, junctions by the looks of it. Uh, maybe not. Hmm. Because the junctions can interfere with this too, and I don't want that. Hmm. 
maybe junction like this. That might actually work. Let's try that. I'll go one there. I'll do one on top. And then let's see where does that line up. There and there. Perfect. Oh, that's not perfect. Of course not. Alright, so this is going to be going, uh, let's see, in on green, yes, out on blue. Out on blue, that's going to be in on white. And then out on green, that's going to be in on pink. And out on white. In on blue and out on yellow, but that's not going to work because I need an arm there. And, oh, right, right there. And there we go. Recycling, you gotta love it. Perfect, so that is hopefully working. So now we got this, now we gotta get, uh, now we gotta get another mixer set up. This is where the fun part gets in. Comes in, cause now I gotta, I just remember I gotta get nickel and iron from downstairs up into here. Uh, I am going to do two separate conveyors for it, of course. So let me start by getting a mixer down. I'm actually, we'll... Where are the inputs on the mixer, actually? There. Hmm. I would like to keep it in line like that. But I have to get two inputs from the outside. So maybe... Let's bring the conveyor out two more. And then maybe I will put offset the mixer. Use the conveyor to actually bring it in. And then just before this thing fills up, I am going to turn it like so. So that is that. Now to get the stuff from downstairs. So let's have a look and see what we're dealing with. Uh, I know where the hole is here, so let's, let's take a look. So what I need to do is I need to grab from this shelf up there and there's a nickel right there actually so the nickel's already on its way out now where oh where am I I am there okay so that means the arc furnace is right there I'm gonna I should have room to move this pipe. Yeah, I'm going to bring this pipe down a little bit. Get some conveyors made and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. And I've been thinking about it. And I think uh, I'm going to go with the conveyors on the ceiling uh, here. And then when we actually get to going up there, we're going to go with junctions. Now I've got two holes here. This one is going to be for one. This is going to be another. I'm going to use the junctions to go through. Uh, just to make it a little bit easier. So, yeah, so iron's going to be coming up from that side. This is going to be the nickel. So, yeah, we'll do it this way then. And then I'll rotate that way. Okay, so. And that's going to go right to a junction. Uh, this one here. Uh, since that's coming right out from there. Maybe, I don't know, maybe, maybe we will do this, just because we can, just because it works. And unfortunately, I can't really see which way I'm rotating this. Because I got a pipe in my way. Okay, that's the right way. Okay, perfect. Alright, now we take the block out, and then we do Hang on, I'll get there eventually. There we go. Okay. So that's going to bring it up, then I'm going to go from there, it's going to go to junctions. I did not make enough junctions. 
Actually, no, I was going to go with conveyors on this one, was I? No, I was going to put a... We don't need a chest. I need junctions. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I decided to go with uh, regular conveyors anyways. Just because, right? So let's see if I can uh, rotate that. Okay, I gotta rotate this one too. Oh, that's the wrong one. There we go. Alright, so now I'll go ahead and stick another robot here. Or robotic arm, which apparently I gotta make. And I'll make another five. And then while we're doing that, oh yeah, I can uh, take this conveyor out too, because that's actually in the wrong spot. And show me the robots. There they are. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Magic conveyors. And now for this, now I'm just going to use junctions to go through the floor. And then from the top, there'll be two, two arms to take them out. Okay. Let's run upstairs. Oh, need an elevator. We really do. All right, and uh, oh yeah, for this one here, I need two. I was gonna put arm there and an arm there. Now, uh, because I don't want it, anything interfering with these conveyors, I'll be put, putting uh, conveyors. Yes, that's the word. Uh, yeah, like that. And then that way, just like I said, so the junctions themselves don't interfere with that, because these will only output at the one end. So if I do that, then we do, we go down here, our output is going to be blue. Uh, in on yellow. No, hold on. Should be out on. I'm a little confused here. Uh, let me figure this out. Conveyor issue. So I gotta put this over here then. Just to avoid clipping. Oh, that light's in the way. I'm not moving my light. Uh uh. No way. Okay, like so. And now I can take these out. Yeah, because what's happening is that red port's automatically connecting to here. So we get rid of this. Red is not going out. Uh, let's see here. Can I take that out? Yes, I can. So it's in on yellow. And it's going to be going out on blue. Alright, now this one is going to be coming in. Let's take that out. It's going to be going in on red. Yeah, in on red. That conveyor is not lined up. We do that. Oh, shut up. There we go. Oh, that's wrong, Rivera. That's better. So now those should be going up to the mixer. And since the arms are there, they should be doing it automatically. Okay, you were doing that. Oh, I still have to put this one here. I know I ran along on this episode, but hey, stainless steel is not easy. Alright, we are going out on blue and yellow, and uh, I'm gonna. Oh, yeah, still got aluminum in here. Oh, yeah, wait, hold on. Uh, I think we still got some nickel in the system here. What's going on here? Uh, In on yellow, okay, and in on white. Okay, you're not filtering. Why are you not pulling a iron out? Uh, don't tell me I have to actually output it. Oh, apparently I do. 
Okay, so then you're going to be out on green. Okay. Perfect. So now we're just going to get the motor hooked up, which is right there. Uh, power. Uh, here, let me get this done and I'll be right back. Okay. And there it goes. It is making us up our uh, stainless steel. Now to get this out and hopefully not interfere with this connector. So the output's actually there, so that's being used. We're gonna get another arm, which I do have. Let's uh, get this down. Do that. Now I gotta make sure that doesn't nothing connects to this. Uh, let's see here. Do that. Okay, pink is off. That is good. That is our stainless steel dust. Which we get into an arc furnace, which I already went ahead and made. And I need another arm for this. Oh, I have one left. Perfect. And now for power. Nope. And. I want to see if we can rotate this. I can't. Oh well. And then from here, of course, we're going to have to get our uh, our machines set up to make our plates and all that stuff. But, as soon as I... Uh, oh, I do have more wire. As soon as I stop messing around, I should do things properly when we can get started. <laughs> okay, and there we go. Stainless steel. Perfect. Alright, so uh, that's going through, so let me get a few things. Oh wow, that takes a long time. That's because we're at aluminum. I think this might be the first thing we upgrade. But now with stainless steel, like I said, we can start getting into faster machines. Um, there's other things here, like, I don't know what the terminal's about. Uh, different things you can try out. There's uh, also stainless steel counter. Interesting. See, then we get more more of these logic circuits to play around with. Of course, we're getting better machines and, of course, the solar panels. But uh, those are going to be quite expensive to make. That's a lot of stainless steel. Okay, that's just glass. All right. And then the radiators, but then we also start getting into heat exchangers and we start making the batteries. We're actually making molten salt batteries now. So that's what we need the sulfur dust. We're going to need a sodium for... Which, again, we can get through an electrolyzer, or I guess just an electrolyzer is about the only place we can get it from. Either salt, which we get a sodium and chlorine, or we can run copper through it, or clay dust, and then I'll get a little bit of sodium, and then, oh, look, more aluminum, and sand, of course. Alright, so uh, this is going through, let me get a few things set up, and I'll be right back. Okay, there we are. We got our first stainless steel components, our stainless steel parts, we have our first stainless steel plates. We are automated. Now the question is whether or not it holds up. That's another story. But I, I like the fact that we're getting so much aluminum back into the system from doing this. We're getting aluminum uh, not out of there. This is Oh, this got clogged up. I gotta get this free. Come on, come on. Somebody get in there. Get in there with the chrome. Yeah, priority. Yeah. Always make sure you lock your recipes if you have multiple things like this. If this had more slots, it probably wouldn't be an issue. Oh, do I really have to wait? Oh, come on. Come on. I just want that one chrome dust in there. I'll get there eventually. If I was smart, I'd turn the robot. Let me fix this. Oh, there was my problem. That might help. Okay, feed in there and I'll lock it. Okay. That is going the right way. No, it's not. 
It'd be nice if it was a little more easier to see which way you're actually going. Okay. That's better. Okay. Yeah. That's fine. We can always just dump that back down the system. And uh, this is going through. That is going through. We're definitely going to have to upgrade that arc furnace, definitely, just to get that up to a one times. But there we are. We have stainless. Well, that's going to be it from this one. Uh, it's been quite the headache. I don't even want to know what's next. Let's dare we look at titanium. Oh, God. Oh, God. What are we dealing with here? Industrial smelter. Wow. Sounds expensive. It could be worse. Titanium sponge? Oh god. Magnesium dust. Where do we get magnesium dust from? Magnesium ingot. Which is magnesium dust. Where do we get magnesium dust from? More solid fuel. Really? Oh, God. Well, that's going to be interesting. I think we're going to wait a few episodes for people to get into that. I think uh, uh, next one is going to be getting like a unified storage area for all the stuff that we're making. And uh, maybe a solar farm on the roof depending on how the solar panels work. But anyways, I'm going to call this one. It's been quite the, the haul. I thank you all for joining me on this adventure down the rabbit hole. Anyways, I'll see you in the next one. Later.